to this subtraction for first graders. And this is lesson three. In this lesson, we're really going to show you how to do subtraction and how to solve subtraction word problems or number stories, whichever way you want to call it. So let's start this first example. And we have this. So it says, there are eight bunny rabbits. Five of them hop away. How many did not hop away? So let's take a look at how this thing looks. So we're going to take a look at this. I think I'll just keep the text down. There are eight bunny rabbits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hiding behind the tree, and, uh, hmm. Okay, um, eight. So, eight bunny rabbits. Five of them hop away. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And how many are left? We can see one, two, three. So let me... Let me take a look at this. So we think to ourselves, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many did not hop away. I already have the answer here, but I'm just going to guide you in how to answer this thing. So, what are we trying to find? How many did not hop away? What information we are given to help us find the answer? Well, we are told there are eight bunny rabbits and five of them hopped away. So I'm going to use counters because in school, you may not have the luxury of having a, a video with bunnies hopping. So I'm going to use little symbols what you most likely use on your homework or in school. These will represent the eight bunny rabbits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bunny rabbits. Got a little extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five of them hop away. So we're going to count five. One, two, three, four, five. These five will represent the ones that hopped away. And so I'll just circle them and cross them out. And as you can see, we are left with three. So these five hopped away, and these are the three that did not hop away. So to write it as a subtraction sentence, it's eight minus five, and that is equal to three. And we see it right here. Okay, let's get to the next example. Five birds are standing on this man. Four birds fly away. How many birds remain on the man? All right, so let's take a look at how this is looking. So, here are the five birds that are standing on the man. And then it says, four birds fly away. There you go, the four. How many remain on the man? Now, we can clearly see one bird. 
I'll replay it one more time. The five birds. One, two, three, four, five. And then there go one, two, three, four birds fly away. And we're seeing that one bird is standing on the man. Okay. So we're going to use counters. I have one, two, three, four, and five. Five birds are standing on the man. So remember the questions that we have to ask ourselves, what are we trying to find? So we're trying to find how many birds remain on the man. And what information are we given to help us find this? Well, we're told that there are five birds and four of them fly away. So let's find the four that fly away. This time I will look at these four. One, two, three, four. I'll circle four. And these represent the four that flew away. I cross them out. See four. And I see that I only have one. Just like what the video showed. See the one bird on top of him? Okay. So we see it's one. Now to write this as a subtraction sentence, we have five minus four, and that is equal to one. The five that were here, and here's the four that we're going to subtract. And we have one left over, which is this one. Okay, next example. Four ducks are in the lake. Two ducks walk out of the lake. How many ducks are still in the lake? So, what are we trying to find? How many ducks are still in the lake? And what information are we giving to help us find the answer? Well, we're told four ducks are in the lake, and two ducks walk out of the lake. Hmm. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so here are the four ducks. One, two, three, four. The four ducks in the lake. And now two ducks walk out. Let's see. That's one. And that's two. So two ducks walk out of the lake. And we clearly see there are two more still swimming around in the lake. So time for some counters. So this is how you'd solve it. On your paper or in school, on your homework. It'd be something like this. These will represent four ducks. We have one, two, three, four. Now two walk out the lake. So I want to cross out, circle and cross out two. One, two. These, this will represent the two that walked out the lake. And I clearly see I have one, two that are still in the lake. Just like what we saw here in this video. Here are the two. Whoops. No, here are the two. Hidden behind here. Here are the two that are still in the lake. Now to write that as a subtraction sentence. Four. Minus. Two is equal to, as we see here, 4, and this we're, we're minus these 2, and we're left with 2. And there we go, 2. Okay, now this last example, it's a little bit challenging, but I know you guys can do it. This one is a little bit different, 
because it's going to be a little more, just a little more subtraction. You'll see. There are 10 birds on the man. Two birds fly away. Then four more birds fly away. How many birds are on the man? So there are 10 birds on the man. Two birds fly away. Then four more birds fly away. How many birds are on the man? Wow, let's take a look at that one. So here's our friend again. And we see he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten birds on him. So two fly away. One, two. And then, like what this said, four more birds flew away. So let's see. One, two, three, four. And what are we left with? One, two, three, four. Four birds are left on him. So let's take a look at this thing. All right. We're going to use some counters. Oh, before I use the counters, let's think how to solve this. So we're thinking. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many birds are still on the man. How many birds that are just on him. What information we are given to help us find this answer? Well, there are 10 birds on him. Two fly away. Then four more fly away. So let's take a look at that. So we need 10. So far, I have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these will represent the ten birds. So that's my ten birds. Two birds fly away. Well, two birds. They flew away. So these will represent the two birds that flew away. Leaving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? But it says then four more birds fly away. So that's one, two, three, four. So these four. will represent the ones that flew away after those first two. And we see we're left with one, two, three, four, because it asks how many birds are on the man. And we see the four, just like in the video. Four birds. And he doesn't look too happy with that pigeon on his head. Anyway, that is all for this lesson number three. And I hope you like this lesson and continue to watch the videos as I move on to lesson number four. Good. Bye.